Hi, and welcome to Hi-Fi Corner's YouTube channel. I'm Joe, and today we're gonna to be looking at Harbest Monitor 40, their flagship speaker. That's it in all of its glory. The Monitor 40.2 is 750 millimeters in height, 432 millimeters in width, and 388 millimeters in depth. So it's a big stand mount speaker. Turning it back around here, this is a 300 millimeter driver produced by Harbeth. This is a 200 millimeter radial two driver and a 25 millimeter tweeter. You have two flow ports on each side. And on the back, you have a single pair of speaker binding posts. Now putting on the grill, now all Harbeths have been designed to listen to with the grill. I still prefer it with the grills off, but they have been designed with the grill on. It's a beautiful speaker with the grill on. So what are some of the advantages of owning a Harbeth speaker? Well, owning the Monitor 40.2, what you're gonna get is you're gonna get a performance unlike anything you've ever heard. And a lot of it has to do with the way that the cabin is designed, a thin walled BBC style monitor. So the, the actual cabinet will flex slightly. It's so minute, you'll never see it. With that flexing cabinet, these drive units are tuned to create a wonderful, beautiful sound. Okay, so let's look at the 300 millimeter driver. This is produced in-house by Harbeth for this speaker alone. It's designed and voiced to react within this cabinet Again, here, the Radial 2 driver produced by Harbeth in-house. This is one of the reasons why Harbeth is known to have some of the most beautiful mid-range reproduction. Moving up to the 25 millimeter tweeter, this is produced by the Norwegian company CS in spec with Alan Shaw, the owner of Harbeth. So what are some of the improvements that you're gonna get from the monitor 40.1 to the monitor 40.2? Well, let's look at it internally. Well, we can't, but let's think about it internally. Internally, the dampening has been improved to react better with the new drive units that are in here, okay? Second, the crossover has been completely reworked and redesigned, and I have to say, it's worked extremely well with this new speaker. Now, moving to the outside of the speaker, the 300 millimeter woofer remains the same. The dual ports remain the same. What's changed here is the we're going from the monitor 40.1 to the 40.2. You're going from the old radial driver to the new radial 2 driver, a vast improvement on that. And then what you're going to see here, it looks almost identical just like the mid-range driver does, but it looks almost identical to the old tweeter. This is a much higher spec tweeter that the Norwegian company CS has designed for Harbeth specifically. Now, comparing it to the old monitor 40.1, what I've noticed specifically is the voice of this speaker has been quote unquote modernized, okay? It sounds more like a big version of the Super HL5 Plus by Harbeth, which is a great thing. As, as you know, it's one of the most popular speakers that Harbeth produces. This is just much bigger and produces a lot lower and grunt to it, okay? So one thing that I notice between the 40.1 and the 40.2 here is that the bass response, and I think a lot of this has to do with the dampening and the crossover. Before, I always felt that the monitor 40.1 was a bit woolly in the bottom end. And it really never, no matter how much power you threw at it, no matter how much current or high quality amplification, I always felt it was just a bit woolly and it would, it would fall apart. Now, with the new crossover and with the new dampening in there and with the new mid and tweeter there, I think the whole balance of the speaker has vastly improved. The mid-range, again, is much more pronounced and much more fluid than it was with the old radial driver. And the high end is a lot. It's got just that extra little 
sparkle to it that just makes that so much nicer to listen to. There's a lot of air. Nothing seems too rolled off by any means. The cymbals are crisp and sharp, so on and so forth. This speaker has been improved from the old 40.1 version to this new 40.2 version. It has transformed it. Now I'm gonna be taking this home here shortly and I'm gonna be doing a full on review over the next few months with it and I can't wait to get home and just experiment with it and try it out. Now I listened to this with some name kit. So that's name audio here in the UK. And I got to say, I've listened to, I listened to a few songs that I'm extremely familiar with. And this speaker was drawing out information that I have never heard before. And that right there was me saying, okay, I got to get this home and have a listen to it and see what this speaker is truly all about. This is Joe from Hi-Fi Corner saying, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves out there. And remember, always enjoy your music. Thank <laughs> you.